What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review, and it is a two-pack today, man. We have the Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive WWE Jimmy and Jay Uso two-pack. Yes, this is Ringside Exclusive. You can go over there, use promo code MDTOYS and save yourselves 10% over at WrestlingFigures.com, man. But it's kind of trippy because this looks like the old setup, right? Like with the background and everything. When I look through the camera lens, it's almost as if I'm in my old office. And it's kind of trippy, I'm not going to lie to you, because I did replace the table. I had to take this table apart at my old house, maneuver it out of the old house by myself onto a truck, and then drive it over here, and then finagle it upstairs in pieces too heavy ass pieces at that. Put it back together and then set this up. So leave a like for that, damn it. But we're back today with an excellent review that I have been waiting on for a long time, man. We have the WWE Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack Jimmy and Jay Uso. This packaging is ridiculous, man. You have Jimmy and Jay on their respective sides. Uso's down the middle. I love the, the color palette, the white and the yellow and the black and the red really just pop off nicely. Ringside Exclusive logo down here, of course. Dude, on the side, you have this sick-ass bloodline graphic and because I'm such a idiot I know that this is copper plate gothic font because I'm a font just connoisseur, all right? On the other side, it does say WWE Ultimate Edition with the yellow around it. At the top, it says Ultimate Edition again. And on the back, it does have the WWE logo. And you guys can see, like, the tribal pattern kind of been sealed in there. And you got some other bonus stuff. And at the bottom, it's just red and black, pretty much. But that is pretty much it. And also, you'll be kindly to know that I fixed my background. So now, it will never fall over. I'm not going to say never, but it's going to be a lot better at not falling over. And that's a W. Nonetheless, man, with all these things being said, let's take the boxes that are going to be in this box out of this box and get into the other boxes. So here are the figures out of the shipper box, or not the shipper box, it does come in a brown shipper box though when you get it from Ringside Collectibles, and then you have that box we just saw, and then they have their individual Ultimate Edition cases right here, which is freaking beautiful. Jimmy Uso, Jey Uso, we know about the head sculpt dilemma, you know, we know about all that stuff going on here, but tons of accessories in these guys, I mean you got some good stuff going on here, and I guess these hit right at the right time with all the ish that we're getting on television, man, my god. Here's Jimmy Uso, as we know there, and it's pretty cool, he has the Bloodline hat compared to the Uso's hat we saw last Last time, we the one shirt, tag titles, all the good stuff, and then we do have Jey Uso here with all the same exact accessories, which is pretty damn cool, man. Wait, what the hell? They didn't give him a hat? They didn't. They didn't give him. They didn't give him both hats, Brad. What a freaking rip. Nonetheless, you do have Jimmy and Jay on the sides there, and then on the back you do get product shots. Jimmy and Jay there. Jimmy and Jay there, and then Jimmy Jay Jay Jimmy there. Nonetheless, man, let's crack these guys out of their packaging, see what they're all about, and crack the Usos out of their Ultimate Edition packaging and find out what these figures are all about. Alright, man, so here's Jimmy and Jay Uso out of the packaging officially, and I know I don't have my rotating base, I apologize for that. Don't have the rotating base here, but this is the figures, man. My rotating base, I'm trying to find it. At the, you guys saw the boxes. There's so many damn boxes that I'm trying to unpack day by day, and I looked in every single spot I knew to look. I looked in every single box, every single drawer, couldn't find the rotating base. So I guess in this review, man, we're not going to have the rotating base, so that kind of makes me sad. I found the little covers that go on it, and I could have swore I knew where I put it. Couldn't, couldn't find it, man, so. You know what? We're just going to have to buckle the hell up, man. But this is a Tag Team Ultimate Edition review. And you guys know in the Tag Team Ultimate Edition review, not Tag Team Ultimate Edition reviews, but Tag Team Reviews, period, whether it's Elites, Ultimates, whatever the hell it is, we always cover their accessories together, and then we look at the figures back to back. So that is exactly what we're going to do, man. So let's shut the hell up, dive into all the accessories you get with the two-pack, and I'm pretty sure you can actually buy these figures individually. So for whatever reason, I don't know why the hell you would, but if you want Jay Uso by himself, you can certainly do do that, and if you want Jimmy by himself, you could do that, but I feel like you would be an absolute clown buffoon to do so. To do so. Jimmy and Jay to do so. That actually sounds like a real name. But no, let's, let's shut the hell up, dive into their accessories, and then we'll dive into the figures themselves. Alright, so diving into the accessories that you get with this Usos 2-pack, man, I mean, you get a lot. You get a lot. And a lot of them are the exact same accessories, except for head sculpts, and except for the damn hat. Why does Jimmy come with a hat, and Jay doesn't, man? That's a miss. That's a huge miss. Why, why did we do that? Now, getting into our head sculpts first, we 
do have the Jimmy head sculpts, which everybody will say looks like Jay. They definitely favor Jay. I mean, if you look at a Jimmy head sculpt and you look at a Jay head sculpt, this looks like Jay to me. It's not egregious, but the haircut, I don't think Jimmy ever had this haircut, man. He never had like this mullet style, mullet, mohawk style stuff going on. But one thing I love about this head sculpt is the dry brushing and the beard, how they gave him that like salt and pepper look. Pretty cool. I like that. And you have this like pissed off, gritting, sort of like, you know, just kind of like angry head sculpt. And then we have the classic old yelling head sculpt. But great sculpt here. I, I like the way it looks and everything like that. And you know, I mean, you could remove a hairpiece or something like that. But then you have the smiling head sculpt, which looks a bit more like Jimmy. I'd say this looks a little bit more like Jimmy. But the yelling expression is nice. And then you do have the smile there and the red hair and the stuff going on. We've seen this sculpt before as far as hair sculpt is concerned. But these are three brand new head sculpts, which is cool. I kind of wish that they came with an angry mug face, though. And then for Jay's head sculpt, we do have this, like, similar haircut. You know how he had, like, the mullet, but then he had, like, the little red in the back there and everything like that. Not a bad head sculpt. I like the kind of, like, cocky, pissed-off head sculpt. I'm trying to think of who this looks like to me. It reminds me of something, but I can't place it at this moment. And then we also have, like, the same Elite 90 head sculpt. And I also like the salt and pepper going on in the beard here as well. I think that's a really nice touch. And then finally, we do have, like, the same, like, pissed-off, gritty style head sculpt there. No yelling head sculpt from him. So it's kind of weird. I wish we got a yelling head sculpt with him, and then I, I like this one right here. Maybe a little bit more angry like we get on the eyes here, but I still like all three of these head sculpts. They look pretty clean, and I appreciate them. Now, also, outside of that, we do get a blue SmackDown Tag Team Championship with both of them. They are the matte versions here, and they don't look bad. We've seen these countless times, but you do get a SmackDown Tag Team Championship with Jimmy and Jay, respectively, and then the other side of that, you also get a Raw Tag Team Championship, so it's, you know, the, the undisputed Tag Team Champions. You get a SmackDown Tag Title and a Raw Tag Title, so think of it, you do get a set of tag titles on either brand, so that is good there to, to you know, increase that price and value of this pack, but they're also matte and they look good. I wish they'd retire these belts, man. My God. It's time, man. It is time. They also come with these gold necklaces, which look good. We've seen these before on Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock, I'm pretty sure, and we've probably seen them on other characters as well, but it is a shiny gold. We both, you know, you both Jimmy and Jay get a version of that, and they, they're the exact same. They also get the ceremonial rose or flower necklace here, which look very, very nice. I can't remember what the exact name of them are, but it's got the red roses in there. Nice sculpt. We have seen this sculpt before with Roman Reigns and stuff, but it is cool to get these. They're almost like an orangey red color, but they get the job done, I think. They kind of look like watermelon to me. And then for some reason, Jimmy comes with a bloodline hat, but Jay doesn't. I think that is so dumb, but it's the case. You get the bloodline there with the copper plate gothic font, and it's just a plain black hat that does say the bloodline on it, which is nice. And does it fit the head sculpt nice? It does fit the head sculpt nice. So that's that is nice to see. You love to see that. List of things you love to see that. And then with each character, you also get the We The One shirt. And this is the same shirt we saw with our Solo Sokoa figure that was too skinny. So now you can throw this on our Uso Ultimates and that's pretty cool. So all three of them can rock the We The One shirts even though they're not together anymore. It's still badass to see in figure form. And I wish we would have got the Survivor Series attires, but pretty good stuff nonetheless. I like the We The One shirt, but these are not the stretchy material. So you gotta, you know, it's gonna be a little bit difficult getting them on there. We'll look at these on the figures at the end of the video, but these are still badass shirts and I'm glad that we got these. No Velcro always wins. And then for Jimmy, you get Mike holding hands, you get the fisted hands, and then of course it would not be the Bloodline or the Usos without the We The One hands, and Jimmy's hands have the white finger tape in the middle and ring fingers on both hands. And then for Jay, you get the Mike holding hands with the pinky taped on the right hand. And then he also comes with fists, and he also gets his own pair of We The One pointing style hands, which are great. Alright guys, so starting out with the Jay figure, we do have the head sculpt here, and what's so funny about this figure is that it is completely outdated. If you guys watch SummerSlam, you will know that not only does he have like palm trees on his rib cage and like down his whole entire torso, his entire back is covered now. So this is completely inaccurate. However, it gets the job done. I mean, if you put the shirt on there, it can completely work. They wrestled in their shorts multiple times and I'm sure if it really bothers you that much, I'm sure Curb Stomp's gonna whip up some sort of decal for both of those tattoos. So he'll take care of you there. However, the tattoos still look good. I like this torso choice for the Usos. This should have obviously been the torso choice for Eddie Guerrero, I would argue, but all the tattoos look good. I like the butterfly joints here that continue the tattoo
tattoo pattern which is very nice as well but the back shot also looks nice and then you do have the white sleeve on the left and if you guys were wondering like oh I don't want to get them confused that's a way to tell right if you if you have trouble telling the Usos apart Jay has both pecs tatted up and he does have the white sleeve so that is a way to tell he also has the black joggers on there and it's pretty cool because some of it is matte and some of it is shiny black and it does say bloodline down the leg there and on the other side it's blank but you guys can see it does have like the shininess to the matte. Got the silver pocket right there and then the only thing that really bothers me heavily about these figures is the head sculpt choice sometimes and then the lack of lower leg cut man. I feel like since they have this silver line right here I feel like since they have this silver line right here maybe they could have lowered it a little bit and given us the the shin cut there because that bothers the crap out of me man. These are ultimate editions you be you need to be able to pose these guys around heavily. Adding that lower leg cut would have been a phenomenal but they, they also have the John Cena shoe mold for the ultimates which is better than the elite shoe mold but it's still not great. Falls forward too easily. They need to go back to the drawing board for John Cena and this shoe mold but I'll take it. I think these still look great and uh, I'm really enjoying this figure man. Before we get into comparisons though I do want to take a look at Jimmy and then we'll take a look at some comparisons for these and do some posing and stuff like that. Now for your Jimmy figure here is the head sculpt on there and again he doesn't have a sleeve. He has the full sleeve tattoos there. They use the exact same formula except for the head sculpts obviously even though this is pretty much a J head sculpt. You have the pec tattoo. You do have the same uh, you know tattoo patterns going through here with the butterfly joints like they continue throughout. Nice looking shot of the figure there. I like it man. I mean these figures are phenomenal. I really do enjoy both of them. Their patterns on their joggers are pretty much the same except Jimmy's is on the left leg and then Jay's is on the right leg so that's also a way to tell but you continue the shininess and the mat going down. I love the sculpt on the knee pads as well but I feel like the pinless are just so tight. I am I wrong? I feel like they're so tight man. Pinless joints for Mattel figures are usually really really tight. They do have the drop down hips as well but before we do that again it is all the same stuff here. You got the shininess going down the back. You get the shoes. It's all the exact same except you do have the Jimmy head sculpt and then the tattoo deco and no sleeve is pretty much what we're looking at here. Now looking at these guys next to each other I mean I'm liking the figures a lot man. I just really wish that they had lower leg cut. That just makes the world go round. It's a lot better feeling in hand. It wouldn't feel as stiff I don't think. Like these double jointed knees are very stiff man. I mean good Jesus. However I do like that you know you get the butterfly joint here so you can do a you know like their arms folded a little bit which I really like you know. I really like that they can cross their arms. I think that's super bad eh? but you know super kick. They're gonna be able to do the super kick man. You're gonna be able to get that super kick in there nice. Rise it up you know just freaking knock somebody's teeth down their face hole. It's right there just pow! Right there. We're, we can probably expect this at like Wrestlemania right there. Didn't Jay say he was like leaving Smackdown? So I mean, yeah, they're probably gonna stretch this out to Mania. Maybe I'll be there in Philly, but right there, just freaking... Oh, watch out, watch out! And I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm feeling about the drop-down hips. I'm still not the biggest fan of this shish, man, but let's get into some figure comparisons. So for your Uso figure comparisons, here is the Ultimate Edition 2-pack Usos up next to their last couple pairs of Elites, not including their, like, singles runs, of course, but we do have the Elite 54 Usos and then the Elite 64 Usos, but we do have, like, head swaps on these and, like, different fix-ups, but these are the Elite 54 Usos in their base form. And then here is our first Elite Usos, our second Elite Usos, our third Elite Usos, and then and our Ultimate Editions right there, so you guys can see the progression. And then, of course, we did have that Singles Elite 95 Jimmy and the Singles Elite 90 J, or, you know, they're like the Black Jogger Jimmy and then the White Jogger J. But this is cool to see these up next to each other, you know, with, like, their first forms. And then that heel turn in 2016, I think, really, like, resurged their careers, man, because I felt like they were kind of dead in the water at that time, and then, bam! You know how damn long I waited for Black Jogger Uso figures, man? Ever since 2016, I had to wait for that. I, I thought that would be their first gear, and that we waited forever. It took forever to get Black Jogger Usos, and now we have Ultimate Editions of them. It took us till literally this year and a little bit last year to get a pair of Black Jogger Usos. Like, I know you could do the custom with the Elite 95, but having a J and a Jimmy in respective Black Joggers took a lifetime. And then we have all the different mismatch here. You have the White Jogger Usos, the Red Jogger Usos, and then we have the SummerSlam and Top Pick style Usos with all of the accessories from various Usos and some custom shirts. These are my favorite pair of Usos that I own, but maybe the Ultimate Editions can take over, man. And we're also going to look at what all of their accessories look like with these jackets at the end of the video. So stay tuned. I'm going to dress them all up and it should be pretty damn sweet. But 
this is all it for our Uso figure comparisons. And then for our Uso's bloodline comparison, here is the full bloodline up next to each other with the Elite 104 Solo Sokoa. We have my fix-up promo gear, red tracksuit Roman Reigns figure with the Undisputed Championship, and then we do have Paul Heyman with both championships there, and it's pretty damn sweet to see all these guys up next to each other, man. How sweet did these look? Beautiful to see all these guys. Of course, Roman and the Usos are Ultimates. Solo Sokoa, don't know if he'll ever get an Ultimate. Maybe one day, who the hell knows, but it is very cool to see all these guys up next to each other. Anyways, man, I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this 2-in-1 WWE Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive Review on the Jimmy and Jay Usos 2-Pack from Ringside Collectibles. Man, again, you can get these over at Ringside Collectibles. WrestlingFigures.com. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I think these are going to be awesome, man. I think you guys that like your figures men on card, like in the Ringside Shipper, are going to be incredible. If you guys like these men on card, they look great as well, but just taking them out of the boxes, putting all these accessories on them, man, you guys can see with the Usos hats, the We The Ones, the jackets, all this different stuff, man, they look so damn good, man. I really, really like these figures a lot, and I think you guys are going to enjoy them. I mean, just look at these guys. Look how freaking sweet they look. You know, we've waited forever on these, and they're finally here, and I think they definitely delivered, man, but I think my overall thoughts is grab them, man. I mean, I guess if you have the... I'd say spend the extra cash, man. I mean, having Ultimate Edition Usos is nice. I like having the addition of the Butterfly Joints. It's a great formula. You can put all these accessories on there and pair them with your other Usos. The Bloodline down the leg. I mean, dude, these are freaking amazing, and I like them a lot. So, it's going to be interesting to see where these guys land on our top 5 or top 10 Ultimate Editions of 2023, but these are great, and I highly recommend them, man. But before we get out of here, a huge shout-out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. They are the absolute goats, so definitely check that out. If you guys are interested, click the link in the description below, but I am getting the hell out of here, man. Really miss the rotating base at this juncture. I really wish I had it here with me to see the figures go rotating around, of course, but yeah, you get the point there. They look so sweet, but anyways, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one. I'll see you guys next time, and I'll catch you later.